What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the Thomas Gallery. I'm back on it. And today, got some crazy to talk about. For those who like jewelry, this is something special. Now, I forgot this happened. I forgot this happened yesterday, but yesterday, uh, Christie's Auction House had an auction um, with their, their jewelry auction. And it was talked about for quite some time, like maybe like a couple of months actually, where they were going to put a rare emerald cut uh, diamond, one of the largest ever found on auction. And I forgot it. Forgot it was going on auction yesterday. I forgot about it. I forgot about the live feed and everything. I just saw. The, I just saw the post on my Instagram feed about it. And I'm gonna read it to you here. Let's see. This is from the Christie's Auction House website. All right, it's from the website, so you can look it up. And it says record-breaking, De Grossino Diamond Lee's Geneva Luxury Week auctions. Okay. Strong results were achieved across the sales series, with further top prices seen for the Grand. Excuse me. Mazarin Diamond, that's the name of the actual diamond. Art Nouveau Jewels by Rene Lecaire and watches from Patek Philippe. Let's talk about this now. Uh, Chrissy's Luxury Week, they had a Luxury Week thing. Uh, sales in Geneva saw exceptional results this November, realizing a total of. They just, they don't. See. Oh, a total of $144,903,265 U.S. dollars across five sales of jewels, wines, and watches. As you know that, no, these things are, you no, know, they're, they're assets like jewelry, um, watches, wine, all that stuff. Those things are, those things are assets. They, they, they grow over time. <laughs> Leading the entire series was an emerald and diamond necklace by the Grusino. Set in a rectangular, what's called emerald cut, rectangular cut, D color flawless, D color like the highest you can go in terms of quality, D color flawless diamond of 163.41 carats. Now, when it comes to jewelry, they don't measure by like pounds or ounces, or they measure by carat, C A R A T, carat, okay? That's the just the unit of, that's the, um, you know, measure for weight when it comes to jewelry or stones. Uh, let's see. The, the largest flawless D color diamond ever to come to auction is a. Uh, man, I'm looking at it right now. This thing is crazy. Let's see. The piece set a world record when it achieved 33705994 million seven hundred five thousand nine hundred ninety four dollars in the Magnificent Jewel Auction. Let's see. Over our, this is a quote from Christie's. Over our 251 year history, Christie's has had the privilege of handling the world's rarest and most historic, historic diamonds, commenting Raul Kadakia, Christie's International Head of Jewelry. This is the person who's the, who's the head of the jewelry section all across the world. This sensational gem propels the Grusino into a class of its own. Amen to that. Let's see. Further highlight. Well, they could ask some other stuff, but anyway. This thing, this diamond, I'm going to show you the diamond. I'm going to show you what it look like. Hold on. I'm going to show you. This thing is nuts, man. I mean, when I when I first saw it, when I first saw the when I first saw the 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 rough the the diamond in a rough form, it looked crazy in a rough form. Like, it'd have been cool. They just did it like that. Um, hold on. I got I got I got to show you the specific one. This is nuts. All right. 
Come on. We it, we it, we it. Yeah, because it's like, it's like set, it's like, things, things is crazy. All right. Here's what it looks like. If anybody could see that. That's what it looks like. Is it bad? There you go. That's what it looks like. That went on for auction. That's the diamond right there. Now, the, the, even though it looks like the diamond is actually huge. But it was larger in its raw form. You know, when you when you cut a when you cut a diamond, you cut any kind of jewelry, you take a lot of the, you take a lot of the, the mass off. So that's what it looks like right now. And it's still the largest emerald cut um, diamond ever sold at that auction. And that that uh, that diamond went for thirty three million two hundred thirty three million seven hundred five thousand nine hundred forty four dollars U.S. dollars. Now. The like the the price it actually sold for was twenty nine million five hundred forty one thousand three hundred dollars, but with the the extra fees and all that stuff added on, it went up. It went up some more. It went for thirty three million. Crazy man! Like you see, y'all see that? Y'all saw that, right? And the thing is, I was looking forward to seeing it because now what I'm starting to realize is that these auction houses like Sotheby's and Christie's and all that stuff, when they have an auction, they put like. If you if you ever go on if you go on Instagram right and look up Christie's, they actually show the auctions on on IG Live. They show them, and I I, I forgot that it was supposed to happen yesterday. Today's the fifteenth. Today's the fifteenth. Yeah, it was scheduled to happen yesterday. I forgot all about it. I forgot all about it, man. Cause I wanted to see that. I wanted to see it like in person because it's like it's. Crazy, I know, because the 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 Gresino is a very well known name in terms of jewelry. The Gresino is a very very well known name, and for them to outdo themselves, especially when it comes to the history they already have, it's crazy. Like it's the diamond. What you just saw did that that what you just saw was one hundred sixty three point forty one carats. Keep in mind. That's when it was cut. The raw form, the raw act, the raw uh, diamond was more. But when you when you uh, cut a diamond and polish a diamond, you take some of the weight off. So even with the weight taken off, it's still 163.41 carats. D color flaws. What, what what people don't know is there's a certain there's a certain system by the way they uh, they grade um, jewelry. Especially diamonds, diamonds, and like we call it. Cause you got, you got precious, you got precious uh, um, gems and semi-precious gems. The precious gems are like emeralds, rubies, diamonds, sapphire, pearls. Like pretty much the um the twelve birthstones, the twelve birthstones are are considered precious. The semi-precious stones are like, you know, stuff you don't really like, like tanzanite stuff like that. But the pressures are like garnet, amethyst, my birthstone, um, aquamarine, diamond, uh, emerald, ruby, pearl, opal, sapphire, turquoise, um, peridot. These are called the pressures. And what they do is they have like a they have like a like like, like a grading system. Get A, B, C, D. D is like is it's, when they say D color, they mean D color means it's clear, like because you you have some diamonds that may be a little cloudy, you may have some kind of imperfections. But when you say D color, that means it's clear. You can see through it, clear. And you know that when you actually get the actual diamond in raw form, you can tell if it's a, what kind of uh, color it is. This was a D color. It means it was clear. Then it said flawless, means it didn't have no cracks, it didn't have no, no kind of impurities. It was all diamond. There were no other, there were no other stones in it. Because it does happen sometimes. You have you have a diamond that may have like a small stone inside of it, like a ruby or something like that. That happens. It's rare, but it does happen. 
But when he, when you have a D color, that that's rare. Do you have a flawless D color, flawless, and for it to be that size? Remember, when it was cut, it was one hundred sixty three point forty one, which means it, when it was found, it was larger than one hundred sixty three point forty one carats. And it's even rare to find a D color flawless diamond that size. That's rare. And they found it in South Africa, of course, which is where most of the diamonds across the world, if they're not lab made, they're mostly found in South Africa, Kimberley, South Africa. Cause that, that's what when they when they find like when they find diamonds, they find it in a in a rock called Kimberlite. Kind of like comes out from from volcanoes and stuff like that, but they dig deep down into the ground and they find this rock called Kimberlite. And usually with a rock called Kimberlite. You find a diamond, a, a small diamond attached to it. That's attached to it. Okay? That's what's called Kimberly Africa. Kimberlite. Yeah. So, to find a, a, a diamond that clear, that flawless, that size, does not happen often. It's rare because of how long it takes for a piece of carbon, coal, to turn into a diamond takes billions of years. Literally, the lifespan of the earth, it takes billions of years for a piece of coal to form into a diamond. Which is one reason why it's the hardest natural mineral on the planet. Anything harder is, ma is man-made. Anything harder than a diamond is man-made. It's the hardest natural mineral on the planet. Period. Point blank. They use diamonds to cut other things. They use diamonds to cut glass. They use diamonds and surgical tools, all that stuff. But to find a diamond that is jewelry grade, right? Jewelry grade. And to find it, a D, a D color means, means it's clear. Pure D clear. And to find a D color flawless means there are no imperfections. No cracks on the inside, no cracks on the outside, nothing. It's flawless. And then to find it that size... You pre you repremised a triple crown. You did a triple crown. D color flawless, big size, crazy. And it went on auction. And I'm gonna show you again what it looks like. Again, I'm gonna show you again what it looked like. I'm show you what you're talking about. This is it. Come on, I see that. That's D color flawless, one hundred and sixty three point forty one carats. It was larger when it was found. And these are the emeralds right here. These are the emeralds right there. And those are the other diamonds that they used for it. And this could be taken out and used for something else. But that's 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 like looking like, like crazy. So yeah, that's crazy. And they set a record. And they did other options, but that was just crazy. Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Thank you all for watching this video. Leave a comment. Look at them. Go look it up. Go look up Christie's and Sotheby's. These art. This art and this. Like people don't realize how valuable these things are. They have intrinsic value. They have intrinsic value and numismatic value. But like it's people don't realize how valuable these things are. You just pass by the stuff and just don't even think about it. These things are very, very valuable. Very, very valuable. And they can be passed on. They have a history to them. They have their own intrinsic value and all that stuff. So it's, you know, with wines and all that stuff and art pieces. I talk about this all the time. You, you hear you hear Jay-Z talking about all the time, you know, I bought some artwork for one million. Two years later, that shit were two million. Like, that stuff is real. Like, art goes on for sale and it can be sold for millions. Uh, uh, Picasso, um, uh, the Da Vinci that I talked about. A Basquiat. It, these things go for tens and hundreds of millions. Crazy. And people just walk by like it ain't nothing. I'm telling you, man, don't sleep on the artist. Don't sleep on the artist. I'm trying to tell you. Don't sleep on the jewelry. Don't sleep on the wine. Like, I don't even I don't even drink wine. I don't drink alcohol at all. But I would buy I would buy wine as an investment. Think about that. I don't drink wine. I don't drink. I don't drink at all. I don't. Never have. But as an investment, 
Yeah, I would buy wine as an investment. Yes, I would. Think about that. Don't don't play around with him. Try to tell you. All right. So anyway, thank you all for watching this video. Leave a comment down below. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will catch you all later. Peace. Thirty three.